The Little Mermaid, 1989, Breakdown and Analysis. The scene opens up with three seagulls, and then turns to the ocean, and we see four dolphins. Three plus four equals seven, and G is the seventh letter of the alphabet. This scene gives acknowledgement to the creator. Symbology, as above, the seagulls, so below, the dolphins. The bow of the boat pays homage to the mermaid. The rear of the boat has the face of an owl at the bottom and a crown at the top. On the top of that crown, it kind of looks like a UFO. The prince and his dog are the depiction of the fool tarot card. The creators are insulting the viewers. Dialogue between characters disclose facts disguise the stories. Gives us an insight to who is in charge of the species of aquatic humanoids. The captain, Sir Grimsby, is likened to that of a skeptic that quickly dismisses talk of folklore. One of the sailors exclaims his statements are true while holding a red herring. This brief scene foreshadows the entire movie being the opposite of a happy fairy tale ending. At face value, it's just a normal fish. But those that have eyes to see and ears to hear understand what I'm explaining. A red herring is a metaphor for intentionally misleading or distracting from the actual facts. After the red herring escapes to the ocean, we can see a few other examples of symbolism. The ocean flowers, Fibonacci sequence, orange fish, orange is the color of control of the elite, which is why prison uniforms are orange. The jellyfish, representing being in flow, re regeneration, intuition, and most importantly, immortality. The eye of the whale, or the all-seeing eye, those with the knowledge and control. Then, finally, we see mermen, mermaids, and merchildren swimming in groups, pods, or tribes. Very far beneath the ocean, they reside in subterranean cities made of gold, showing us that this is a people with a permanent residence on the earth. According to folklore, mermaids are attracted to shiny things. Gold and silver, being lost on voyages, would be the easiest items for them to acquire. Gold is a great conductor of electricity, it never rusts, and it is one of the softer, more malleable metals. Note, a common theme in the architecture are pillars, spirals, and balls of light or orbs at the top. On both sides of the entrance we see seven orbs to the main entrance on smaller pillars and bigger orbs on the outer columns leading to the trident at the top or the apex of the entrance. Trident is the symbol of power. The mer people gather in an amphitheater to hear the to hear a symphony performed. Some minor details, the top left is either an incomplete circle or the Ouroboros. The stage is in the shape of an eye, but a more, it looks more like an oyster, with the conductor's podium where the pearl should be. Observe the color purple as royalty, or the highest level of enlightenment. The orange fish briefly enters the frame. Then, King Trident enters the theater. He is portrayed how we would portray God or Zeus. As he activates his trident, it makes a whirring sound like electricity. Then, he uses it to create a chandelier of pearls. Even the people themselves wear the pearls. Sebastian is the embodiment of the masculine and feminine in the scene. As above, red, so below, blue. And we see it flip in real time. Once the orchestra begins the symphony, the mermaids come out of a scallop shell. This scene reminds me of the painting Birth of Venus, which embodies the birth of civilization, a new hope, and most importantly, a social and cultural shift. Possibly referring to an age shift from Pisces to Aquarius? The six sisters introduced all focused in on their seventh sister, Ariel, who is absent, which means we will not have this cultural shift or social change to be open to new race, races or species and their interaction with the human population. She's simply absent. They intentionally do not say Ariel's name. They say Ari, which means eagle, lion, or sun-like, while El means deity, god, or sun, sun ray. My interpretation is that leaving out the El means that while these beings are an advanced culture with advanced technology, they should not be elevated to God status. They are still mortal beings, and having advanced technology does not make them gods.